Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my April favorites and it's going to be a little different. I feel that lately I have been bombarded with new makeup. You know, we have the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, we have the Ulta 20% off, the Sephora VIB sale. So I feel like we've been, you know, this is new by me, this is new by me, this is beautiful by me, this works really nice by me, you know. Everyone is telling you what's gorgeous, what's beautiful, what works, what doesn't work, what you should go for. And I feel like a little overwhelmed and um, I'm sure a lot of you guys do. And not that I don't enjoy, because my problem is I do enjoy shopping for makeup way too much. And uh, I didn't get much through the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I only got a couple of things and there was really things that I was replacing that I was running out of. But with the Sephora, because Sephora doesn't give, you know, discounts very often. And there's brands that Ulta does not sell, which are, is the only thing that I really buy through Sephora. If it's not sold through Ulta. If it's sold through Ulta, I wait and I buy it there with 20% off or with my you know, rewards coupon or something like that, or, or earn rewards. But um, anyway, I will share what I get from Sephora on another video. But on this one, I wanted to do something, you know, products that I've owned for a while, a long while, and that I really do enjoy using. And I do use them when I'm not you know creating a video but I don't use them all the time because I don't want to be showing you guys the same you know products all the time but I still want you to know that I still love them that I didn't just use them one time and then put them down and never used them again because then how do you know that it really was a good product you know anybody can come here and tell you hey I put it on today and it looks beautiful but maybe after I wear it for eight hours it looks like really nasty and I, wear, I don't wear it again so anyway, let's begin. So um, first of all, the uh, primer that I have on today, and I only basically use this primer on the areas where my pores are really enlarged, which is my cheeks, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead, but not too bad. I really don't have it bad on my forehead. The worst area is like right here. But this is the Tarte, and it's called the Tarte Clean Slate. As you can see, I have put quite a bit of a dent in there and this is a really nice primer if you really have enlarged pores and sometimes I put like a moisturizing primer around the rest of my face and then I just go in this area with this one so you just put a little bit and I kind of just pat it on the area where my pores are and it does kind of blur them and fill them in and it does help you know like around the nose area right here and my cheeks those are my worst areas and a lot of people get I've heard they get enlarged pores because of acne and I've never in my life had acne but I don't know I do have really enlarged pores right there okay the foundation that I use today which I love and I use this very very often it's a Dior and this is the um, backstage and this is such a nice foundation and it's not very thick as you can see it just kind of drips out but it looks beautiful on the skin it doesn't look makeup -y. it doesn't look heavy on the skin it, I would consider it to be like a medium coverage um, I wouldn't say that it's full coverage but I do like it especially when it starts getting warmer in Florida because I don't like to have anything on my face that feels thick and it feels like you know my face is melting and I just want to wipe everything off I am wearing all of these products today by the way I wanted to put them on my face so that you could see what they look like so this is the foundation that I have on today so I love this foundation once you put it on I always said it but it almost feels like it doesn't need to be set it almost feels like a little powdery it feels really really nice I really do enjoy this foundation and this is definitely one that when I run out I will repurchase okay the concealer that I used today it was I actually use a Bobbi Brown and this is the Intensa Skin Serum Corrector and I used a little bit of this because I have some really dark circles under my eyes and I just used it like on the cavern right there and like a little dot right here and this is like a very light peach as you can see but it does a great job 
I'll use a different finger. I always want to use the, the middle finger. It does a great job of covering those dark circles. It's not heavy at all. It almost feels like you don't have anything on your skin. And it really does a super job of hiding those dark circles. Because I kind of start here, but then I kind of like spread it, you know, like all over. But I concentrate on the part that is really dark. So I don't feel like I need a heavy concealer after using that corrector. I don't need a heavy concealer. I like to use this one by um, First Aid. And this is the Hello Fab the beauty avocado concealer this is a very hydrating concealer it is not super thick and i would say very high coverage but this is what i have on today and i think it did a good job of covering my circles between that and the corrector and to me the the less product i have to put under my eyes and the thinner the layer, the less I'm going to be creasing. So I like to be able to use something like this. So that is a great combination for me. And my circles today, my dark circles, I mean, they were really bad there, but they were not as bad as they have been on other days where I feel like I need heavier concealer. But today, um, I mean, I think it did a pretty good job, you know, Everything goes in my creases. I mean, they're there. I don't think I'm going to be able to find anything that won't. But, you know, sometimes if you just kind of go back and you pat it down a little bit, it does help. But anyway, that's that's what I use today. My all-time favorite powder is the Laura Mercier. And this is the one that I will always repurchase. I do own quite a few of them. And, you know, I'm going to go through all of them. But some of them, once I use them, I will not repurchase. But this one is one that I will definitely always have in my collection. I really do love it. I think it does a great job under the eye area and through your whole face. And it's just easy to even reapply. If, if you feel like, you know, you're getting a little oily later on in the day, you blot a little bit and you go with a little bit of this powder over your face and it looks beautiful. So I really think that this is a great powder. It's great at blurring out your pores. I love it. I really do enjoy it. And you get quite a bit of product for the price. It is pricey. They do have a smaller size that you can get, which is, you know, of course, a little less expensive. But this lasts me a long time, you know, really will probably last me like a year. And maybe because I have others. Maybe if this is the only one I had, it wouldn't last me that long. But you don't need much to go over your face. You really don't. Okay, my one of my favorite, um, I have another one by Laura Mercier that I really do love also, but I wanted to show you that not everything that I like is high-end. There's a, plenty of drugstore products that I enjoy, and you guys see I do plenty of, um, of drugstore videos because I think there's a lot of good makeup out there. And one of my favorite uh, powders, setting powders, is the Milani Prep Set and Glow. And this is such a beautiful powder. It does not have a mirror, but this is so nice. I usually use the same, um, the same brush that I use for my powder. And after I'm done putting everything on my face, you know, the, the blush, the bronzer, the highlighter, everything, I just kind of go over my entire face. And this just kind of gives you like a softer look to your face. It just melts everything together. Um, it doesn't have a glow as far as shimmery or glittery, but it does give your skin like a nice natural look. And I just think that it looks beautiful. And even and like after a couple of hours that your natural oils start coming out, this kind of keeps it together so that your face still looks fresh and, and pretty. Your makeup looks nice. So I really do enjoy this. I have recommended it many, many times on my channel. And this is another one that I will never be without. I love this one and I love the one by Laura Mercier also. Now the bronzer, my favorite high-end bronzer, I will probably say is the Marc Jacobs. And this is a tantalizer. And at one time this one was limited edition and then he brought it back. And this is on his regular, you know, you can still get it. So um, I do enjoy it. I feel like it doesn't come off too dark. 
you can build it up but it looks natural again it's what I have today I don't use bronzer every day um, I, I really don't contour I just kind of like use a, you know use it a little bit over here to just kind of define my cheeks a little bit but and I do have many bronzers I, I do like a lot of the Too Faced bronzers and of course I like the um, Physicians Formula bronzer there are many bronzers that I like but this is definitely one that I've had in my collection for a long time that I do love um, so I just wanted to show you guys okay oh i forgot to tell you my eye concealer is the laura mercier this is probably one of my favorite ones and the milani i really do love the milani one also um the reason i like this one a little more than the milani is because this one if you have veining or discoloration on your eyelids this one hides it it's almost like you're putting a little bit of makeup on your on your eyelid but it's not i don't know you see it there I, you know, it's not as drying to me as a concealer. I don't know. It feels really good. It really does. It almost feels like a cream shadow. It does a great job of concealing anything that you need to conceal on your eyelids. Your eyeshadows do last all day with this, so I really do enjoy it. Okay, then the blush palette that I really do enjoy, and I'm pretty sure it's still available on the Tarte website. I checked not too long ago on this, still did have it available. It's a Tarte Double Duty Beauty Make Every Moment Count. It does have a mirror, and then it has these beautiful three shades, and they're called, I even love the name, Love, Learn, and Live. It is so pretty, and all three shades are pretty neutral. They go with just about any look that you can have. Um, one is more like um, a real neutral, I don't know. This one's like a pink, it's got more pink in it. And this one's peachy, and this one has like a little more of brown, but it definitely looks very pretty. Like I said, you really have to try hard to overdo it with these blushes, and that's what I like. I'd rather build my blushes than to put too much on my face and then try to tone it down. To me, that's harder to do. And even if you do end up toning it down with powder, as the day goes on, it seems like the color comes back and you have, you know, more to deal with. And some of the little things that I have been finding that they have been in the back of my drawer that I really do love, but a lot of them are like, uh, like this one that is a small package. This was like a set of six um, mini highlighters that I got from Jue and I've had them for like about a year and a half. I got them not this last Christmas but the 2017 and it came in a set and it's these highlighters and they're so beautiful. I have this one on my eyes today on my inner um, my inner third. I can't even talk. And then I have this one and as a highlighter today look how pretty they are and it really doesn't take much they can be very blingy or you can go in softly like I do and you know still shows up but it's not like super super dark um, the eyebrow pencil that I really enjoy is CoverGirl this is very affordable I like it better than the NYX the NYX for some reason pulls too red on me and this one is more neutral and uh, my hair naturally if I didn't have gray is almost like a brown black like you know what I color it and this is like a dark brown and you know my nat natural uh, brows are pretty dark so the NYX when I first started using the NYX it didn't seem to be doing that I used to get the brunette and but now for some reason it pulls uh, very red so this one is rich brown so I do like it I don't feel that it's very waxy I feel like it's very easy to make it look like hair strokes and you know definitely you know to go ahead and you know just comb it through and make it look natural so I really do enjoy that and let's see I do also enjoy this Tarte Cosmetics brow gel now I also enjoy the one that is by L'Oreal but this one is a nice one I love these little brushes I think they do such a great job with your brows and this one is in a brown shade I think it's just called brown 
medium brown but I didn't want to get it dark brown because then I felt like two dark brown shades on my brows will make it almost black so I do enjoy the Genesis Aqua lip treatment um, I use this quite a bit especially if I'm around the house I'm not wearing lipstick or I'll put it on when I'm putting on my makeup just to moisturize my lips this is like the more or less like this Genesis Aqua that comes in a lipstick form and once you put it on your lips do get a little pinkier and um, it depends on the pigment of your lips how pink it will show my lips are pretty pale so they never get super pink but I just use it more to moisturize and I always like to have something on my lips I don't like for them to get dry I do love the uh, Lancome seals booster and um, I always have for many many years now when I'm done with this because I really do enjoy it that's what I have on today I will not be repurchasing it because I did find the essence I didn't want to bring it out because I've already shown that to you guys but the essence brow I mean lash um, primer I think it's even better than this one it curls your lashes which is amazing this one doesn't curl my lashes it just makes my lashes it gives me more volume when I put my uh, mascara on in length but it doesn't curl them and even though my lashes are pretty much they curl pretty good I never use a, an eyelash curler never I never have and my lashes I think they curl you know pretty good so this is a really nice one I'm definitely gonna use it because I like it but this is like $27.50 and the other one is $5 so oops you do the math sorry about that all right then the mascara that I used today is that this is the benefit bad get bad gal bang mascara and I do like this one very much now word of warning um, my daughter told me I gave her a full-size one for Christmas I had given her a couple of these um, deluxe size samples and she loved it so for Christmas I gave her a full-size one and she was telling me and I bought myself one because it came in a kit that I think it brought like one of these and a full size or something for I don't know it was really inexpensive so I got one for her and one for myself so I had not opened mine yet the full size so she told me the, the other day you know what mom she goes I started using that bad gal bang that you gave me for Christmas she goes I don't like it as much as I do the the small one she goes it doesn't feel like the same formula so I thought oh that's strange so anyway I there's an there's a youtuber that I subscribe to and she was saying the other day that when she was doing the Sephora uh, recommendations not to buy the full size because it doesn't work as well as the mini so I said oh I guess she's right so now I almost hate opening my full size because I'm gonna be disappointed but this one is a really nice one then on my bottom lashes I am wearing the color cover girl the super sizer which is a very nice and this is the um water resistant so that it doesn't smudge as much still smudges sometimes that's that's just hopeless my eyes are watery can't help that and another thing that i love and i've told you guys before but i'm bringing it up again for a good reason is the grande lash lash enhancing serum okay i last year uh, towards the end of the year Sephora had a little kit that you can buy and it was, I think it was like $20 or something like that and it brought a mini one of these it was a good buy because this this full size is $65 so the mini has to be probably at least $25 and it brought other good skincare products in, in the kit so anyway I bought two for myself so that I could have two of these and I bought one for my daughter well when I ran out of my big one I started using the mini and the other day I was looking at my lashes and I said what's going on with my lashes you know when you do everything something like on automatic autopilot you're not even paying attention and I'm like my lashes are gone it's like they're not as long or as full as they used to be what what am I doing different I'm still using the mini one every night 
and I said it must be the mini lash serum it must not be the same maybe it have more water in it I don't know I'm not an expert I'm not a chemist I threw it away and I had gone through a whole full one of the mini I had started on the second one and I threw it away and I went back to my full size and hopefully soon my lashes will be back but I was very disappointed so just a word of warning if you buy this I wouldn't buy them anyone it's definitely did not work the same for me okay and for lips I love the Gerard cosmetics these are one of the softest pigmented creamiest lip liners I have ever put on my lips so I do enjoy these for my lips today I am using and I've been using it quite a bit this month because again it's getting hotter and I don't feel like having like a full-blown lipstick on my lips is the beauty by pop sugar and this is in it's a lip gloss and it, the, the shade is called be the boss I do have a couple of different shades but I do love this formula. It is not very thick. It is not super pigmented. So normally what I do is I, whatever liner I'm using, I, you know, line my entire, I cover my entire lip. And then I go over it with, with the lip gloss. This lip gloss is not sticky. It's sticky enough that it stays on your lips for a long time. It is nice, you know, it has a, a nice long wear time but it's not sticky at all so i definitely do enjoy this brand i will list everything below and then the eye palette that i have loved for a long time so much so that i bought the new one that they have now is the the Lime crime venus xl and the look that i have on today I, again it was created by this and this is i have to be honest it's not one of my favorite looks that i have created with this palette but for some reason, I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. It's not, I've created prettier looks with this, but this is a good one. So I would definitely recommend it. And I think that's it, guys. That's all as far as everything that I've loved this month that I've been using. Um, like I said, I didn't want to do anything new. I pull these products all the time um, when I'm not you know making videos for work it's so easy to just put a liner and put this on my lips stick it in my purse and during the day i don't even have to reline my lips i just go over with the lip gloss and um i don't take this to work with me but and i don't use this every day but i know that this is a powder that i can always count on it's always going to look nice so you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that, you know, I will list all these items below in case you're interested in all of them. Like I said, these are, some of them are oldies, but goodies, very dependable. And I use them all the time. So um, I did forget to show you one of my favorite ones and it's this shirt. And this is, says Beauty is Ageless. And I've had this for several months and I purchased this through a little store on Etsy and i did show it on my channel months ago on one of my favorite um videos but i will go ahead and look for her website again it wasn't very expensive i think i paid like 25 dollars maybe for it and i told her exactly how i wanted it because the one on the, on the picture was like gold and it had different you know lettering so i told her exactly how you know i wanted it silver or how i wanted beauty is and then ageless at the bottom so and i got it right away i was really surprised in just a few days i had my shirt and it's very comfy it's not a t-shirt material it's like um i don't know like a stretchy comfy and i like the fact that it's a v-neck and not you know the round neck i don't really care too much for t-shirts that have like the round neck uh, they don't to me they don't look feminine enough it's very comfortable on the sleeve it's not you know super tight um it's nice on the sides it's not it gives you a nice shape to your body but it's not like clingy where everything is going to be showing you really can't i can't stand up that high you really can't show you but anyway it's beautiful i love it recommended she did an awesome job and like i said i will link her her um store below so i love you guys i'll see you in my next video and don't forget about the mother's day giveaway okay it is open through friday and I will pick the winner. No, it is open through Saturday. 
and I will pick the winner on next Sunday. I love you. See you later. Bye. Mwah.